na 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 but luckily, uh, when you get into Xbox, it, it saves most of it on cloud. For Xbox 360 games, just uh, save it local. But luckily, I had a purple hard drive for that. But yeah, someone's going to be sharing my screenshot. So let's sort this out, guys. So there we go. I've sorted that out, guys. I've turned off the notifications. Like I say, I do have a new Xbox. You know my Xbox One S that I unboxed? Well, that is uh, what I'm using right now. And I was, like I say, quite worried that I might lose some of my data. But I didn't. It was all good. And we're going to head underground now to go fishing for the batfish. Now, the batfish, you need a normal biome. And it just needs to be underground. Now, underground can class as this biome here. This is classed as an underground biome. As you can see, the background has changed. Now, I don't know if this is going to be classed as a normal underground biome. Or if this is going to be classed as a corruption biome. Because there is a lot of corruption around it. So, what we're going to do quickly is we're going to use the Clentaminator to Clentaminate some of the world. So that we don't get all of those nasty mobs coming at us Um that are corrupted because we don't we don't want those corrupted mobs. I would, hang on, is that tin? Is that actually tin? It's lead. I mean, lead will come in handy because we don't actually have lead armor, but we did have a ton of lead bars, didn't we? Ah, it should be good. We'll collect it anyway. So there we go. Um, we're just gonna contaminate some of this because we've got a load of toxic sludges coming at us here, which is not good at all. We'll just use the contaminator there. Boom, 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 bang. That should. Clear it now, and it should just be a normal underground biome. I'm hoping, hoping it is. And let's go fishing and see if we can get this batfish. So the batfish is quite common in these areas. I thought I was, I was hoping it would give. <laughs> I was gonna just do like a commentary or like the batfish is quite common in the underground areas. The batfish comes every time your line. Reels out. I don't, I don't know. It's some sort of disagree show like, we have got a wooden crate. The wooden crate is a rare mammal from the 1900th century. Date, date back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going crazy, guys. Don't just ignore me. Every episode just gets weirder and weirder. We're turning into a documentary channel now, uh, documenting how wooden crates were from the 19th century. Oh, batfish. There we go. I knew that was coming. I knew it. I just saw it. I, I just felt it. It was in my heart. Oh, I love it. Lovely jubbly. So there we go. Go hand this in now, and it should be good. Let's go talk to Simon. How are you doing, Simon? Thank you for the tackle box. What I've always wanted. Does anyone want this for Christmas? Well, here's your offer. You can have it for Christmas today for just £9.99. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I'm not selling it, really. But, yeah. Uh, that's that. And if we just smack that there, we don't need the contaminator for now. And we're going to open our wooden crate because that's uh, what we're going to do. Ooh. Hunter potion and platinum ores. 20 platinum ores at that. That's quite a lot, to be fair. I mean, it's a fair amount. Got to admit, that is a fair amount. Let's go to the shop and see how much we get for it. One gold and 20 silver. So that's quite a nice prize right there. We've got five silver for this, 50 copper for that. And uh, we need to keep that. And we can sell the tackle box, but I'm not going to sell it because we only have two of them. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We're coming along nicely. Let's just shove this in one of these chests because eventually we're going to sort out all these chests anyway and have them so there. We'll just have them so, so, so that they're all sorted. But I always say that and it never happens. <laughs> It always happens, guys. So let's see today if we've got any enraged planteras because that happens a lot in my world. A lot of enraged planteras. By enraged planteras, I mean planteras that aren't in the jungle biome but are in the jungle biome. That don't make sense, does it? The ones that are in the jungle biome uh, that down here, basically. That that's all it is. I've just spread the jungle. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> well, we don't have any anyway, which is good. But I've sort of just made all this into jungle, and I don't want to do that. This is my mushroom biome, where I get truffle worms, and they don't come very often. I mean, they're, they're not massively spawning rate, but I did, when I do bring my potions down here, and I do have water candles, the rate of them increases like crazy, and you do get a lot. It, it's not like really scarce thing. You get them quite often, to be fair, so... Ooh. Okay, then. Apparently, it's big enough for turtles to spawn here now. So, that's a, that's a bonus, really, isn't it? 
Don't like how corrupted all this is, though. Let, let's, let's clear all this to make it just normal biome, because I don't like the corruption. The corruption's really annoying. And since we've got lots of Clentaminator bullets anyway, should be good to just clear out. Just the corruption spreads way too fast. Anyone agree with me there? I don't know. It just spreads. For me, it spreads way too fast. And I, I guess it is sp supposed to spread fast, but... I just don't like how fast it spreads. It annoys me. <laughs> it really does. There's so much. And then you clear it all out. And the next day, boom. It's all back there again. So let's go on our daily hunt for Planterras. And see if we can get lucky today in our 106th episode. I don't know. Whatever this is, I've come so far in these episodes. And you guys are supporting me through it all. And it's so amazing to see that. Okay, I just teleport back home. But yeah, I wanted to just say a massive thank you guys. Uh, thank you to you guys who have stuck around and watched these episodes. I'm actually going to do a reboot soon, though. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to do a reboot of these episodes. It's not going to be these episodes, but I'm going to start all fresh. And I'm going to do a Let's Play where I choose a specific class. A lot of people have suggested this to me. And I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time. But the only thing that's been stopping me is... Well, I've been working on this here. Let's play, which instead of this let's play, I think that I'm going to swap it with a class playthrough. And it's just going to be like a reboot. Still going to be Trier Exos 1. Uh, I'm still going to be playing it and all that cool stuff. But I think it'll be really fun and cool to see how far I can get. And just, just to see how well I do, really. Because I've never really done a class play. Well, I have. I've done a class playthrough with friends where we've been a specific class and we had to get through it but it, it's not the same when you're alone and you uh, go through it it's a bit different so what I want to do is I want to go through it as a class playthrough and see how well I do as like I don't know for example a mage or uh, a warrior or something like well I've been a warrior most of this to be fair I, I did actually use the Uzi for a lot of the game and the Deathsicle which is technically a warrior item isn't it but if I oh okay but, if I do do a class play for I don't know if you guys want to see it though. Comment below if you do. It, it'd be a massive help to me if you do say yes or no. Um, but yeah, class playthrough. Probably start off as a mage because I think that'll be one of the easier ones, hopefully. I mean, oh, turtle shell. I wish that was the Android edition. I only need one turtle shell. Really? But anyway, um, yeah. Class playthrough. Mage. I don't know. Maybe. May maybe a mage. I, I want to get the water bolt, but from the water bolt, I just don't know where to go. Do I get the cursed flames next? Um, I'm not a very good mage. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a very, very good mage, which I think it'll be really challenging. I like to challenge myself. I like to do something out of my comfort zone to make me a better person and just to make me better at the game because I don't focus on certain items. And there's things that I miss when I'm I'm being just me. When I'm when I'm playing now, there's probably a lot of items that I've missed out the game, ones that I've just neglected through the game, and ones that I've just not even gave a chance. So by doing a class playthrough, it gives you a chance to experience what it's like being a mage or a warrior or whatever you're not or are, and it gives you a chance to really learn things and just learn about these items and all that cool stuff. So I'm hoping that I can do that and you guys will support me on that. I don't know. What will you guys want to see? Do you think it's worth it? Do you reckon I should do a class playthrough? Or do you reckon I should just scrap the Xbox One altogether and just do it like once a week and do a whole different playthrough? I don't, I don't really know. But I don't. I really want to continue with this Xbox One playthrough because I do like building pixel arts. I do like hunting items, of course. But I don't know. Your input really does make a difference because it. it I do listen to you and it, it, it really does make a difference in the senses that you guys... Want to see a specific thing? You know, I'm up for anything. Like, I'll do anything on the Xbox One. If you guys want to see a, like, say, a, I've choose all my potions. What a derp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to see, like, a class playthrough or something like that, would be really cool to know. But I'm just trying to find some Planteras now. I just accidentally pressed X and used all my potions. That's the bad thing about pressing X. You press X and all your potions are used. But, um, that's why I don't like the quick selects. Because you literally, I've used all my potions. If I had a, uh, gravity potion in my inventory, it would have used the gravity potion. And I don't like that idea of the using all potions. One, because it wastes good potions. I've just wasted crate potions, fishing potions that I'm just not going to use. And, oh, also sonar potions so I can see what's that, what I'm actually fishing and... They're very, very, very helpful and useful. So, <laughs> I've just wasted a really helpful and useful potion there. Plantera, please give me the axe. I've been hunting the axe. A lot of people always ask Luke, 
You'll get the axe one day, and I don't know I will, but the thing is, I've been hunting the axe for two years now, and it just does not want to drop. All I do is get drops that I've already got a thousand million times. I've got back-to-back -back wasp guns here. One sluggish, one's normal, but, I mean, getting as unlucky as I am is just unbelievable with the axe, because, like I said, I've been plant uh, farming it for, like, two years now, and no matter what I do, it just will not drop. I, I, can, I can have the best look in the world, and it will still will not drop. Like, guaranteed, still won't drop. It's insane, really. <laughs> I find it mad. I'm getting burnt to death. I'm trying to look at my map and all these hornets are attacking me. Right, here we go. So we are here. Is there any Plantera spawners around us? There is. Right down here. So it looks like there's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies have just come out of nowhere. I don't know why or how or where. I don't know where they've come from, to be honest. But they've just come out of the woodworks. They're just crawling at me, attacking me, taking me down. It's not good. Not in a situation like this. So, so was it just to the right? Yes, it was. Let's just uh, mine our way over here. A lot of people are telling me to upgrade to the True White Ding Claws as well. I don't really like them that much, guys. I, I know they're very, very fast and they're a lot better than the Pixel, but... The pixel does mine one extra uh, width to the right. So if I'm all to the left, whichever I'm mining. So if I, do, if I am mining to the left, right, up, down, whatever. It has one extra length of mining or whatever you call it. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I really don't. But here we go. The, I didn't want the planter to get enraged. So that's why I've like quickly ran out of the underworld biome. But one day I need to hunt for those, what do you call it? Um... Ah, oh, those things in the ground. You know the little imps. Imps, that's what. Implings are the imps. Implings, whatever they are. Imps. I need to farm those because I need to get the Mario Plumbers outfit. They're what I drop in. They're really, really low drop. Venus Magnum again. Lovely. Again, guys, it's just so unlucky that I, that I could not get the axe. I don't know why it's so uncommon. I know it's like a 1% tr chance drop or something like that. So it's silly, silly low. But... I mean, two years. Two years of farming and not a single axe. <laughs> it's mad. It's insane. It really is. Okay, I'm just uh, scouting out any more Plantera spawners. If you guys want to know how to do this, I do have a video on it. I do explain that every every episode. So, <laughs> if you're an active watcher, I apologize for explaining that like every episode that I've got a video on it. But, I mean, for the people who may not know or may be confused of where to find them or anything like that, then, yeah, I've got a video on it that's very, very helpful. Basically, all it is, though... Is just looking for the pink dots on the map. There's very, very light pink dots. And people get confused with the other pink dots. They're like a darker pink. And that's just where uh, think the jungle is like overgrown. And it's just growing. So never get confused with those two. It is, it is a little bit... Oh, tin ore. I need some of that. Because I'm going to need to make the armor, aren't I? Like I said, there'll be a ton around. If I just look around my world. And eventually, eventually I'll get it. We're going to need more chlorophyll as well, I believe. Because we... Mm, actually, we do have a ton back at home. I don't think it's even going to be worth. Is it going to be worth getting adamantite? Ah, we'll grab it anyway. Why not? Well, while we've got room, we might as well grab it. And then trash all of the stuff we're not going to use, like obsidian. We don't need it. Lovely. Wasp guns, they can be trashed eventually. But for now, we're just going to keep them on us. So just keep going to the right, and we should make it there in no time. So I don't know what it like to say, guys. If you do have any suggestions for these Let's Plays, it's very, very helpful if you want me to start a new Let's Play. Well, not a new Let's Play. It's just like a reboot of a Mage playthrough or something. It'd be really cool to see, though. It'd be really cool to do and really fun as well. Because, like I said, I like challenging myself. I like challenging new things. And that's why soon I do want to do a PC playthrough as well. That will be coming eventually. It's just I've got too many things going on. But if I do... Reboot my Xbox One series. Obviously, that's one less playthrough. But then I've got the the uh, actual class playthrough coming. So there's so many things going on. But I will get to PC. I'll get to PC eventually. It's, it's the thing that I've wanted to do for ages. But they just keep bringing out so many new updates. And I'm just so behind with what they have and what you can do. Because there's so many easy ways to get things. And more armors, weapons, everything. So I might be a little bit stumped on that and uh, get a little bit confused with things. But hopefully eventually I will, will, like I say, get into it and do it that way. Right, let's just trash some of this because I think this is silver and we do need silver armor still. I know we've got a bit of silver at home, but it would be a very, very good idea to grab a few just in case I don't have enough to make the armor. Because like I say, we are on armor quest at the minute to get all the armors. We do need the ancient shadow breastplate. 
which the jungle mobs can drop there. Any can drop them, I believe. Or unless it's just hornets, I'm not too sure. But I believe it's most most of them that can drop it. But uh, hopefully I can get that soon. Then we can have the full ancient cobalt. Then we can work on getting ancient necro as well. Which would be lovely. And Plantera is... Dead. Lovely. There we go. And again, look what we get, guys. Nothing important. We do need that tin. I almost just trashed it. I mean, tin to me is nothing. And I always just trash it. That's why. And now I actually need it. It's going to come like never. <laughs> it's going to be so scarce around the world, isn't it? It's going to be just so uncommon. Nah, there'll be a load of tin. Tin's just like one of the easier ones to get. Ooh, Spectral Elemental. Ah, no. No run of Discord for us today, then. Unlucky. Unlucky. Should we see if we can get a rod of Discord? That'd be really nice to get, right? I've been trying to get that. That's another item that I just haven't got. I think I've farmed for it about four or five times now and just simply haven't got it. I don't know why. Again, it's just a thing that just doesn't come in my world. It's just a thing that just doesn't appear. Not at all. And I don't know why. I'm just super lucky or, or something. I don't know. We don't need the compass. We'll leave the compass. Leave it be. Here we go. It is one of these biomes. So we have got a good chance to get spectral elementals. And chaos elementals. I think it's the chaos elementals that drop it. Actually, no. It'll be the spectral elementals because they teleport, don't they? And they're dropping souls of light as well, which is beautiful. There we go. Right. Uh, <laughs> Armored skeleton just get destroyed by lava there. I think we might have to uh, farm gold as well. I'm, I'm just thinking, like, do we have gold armor back home? I know we had a ton of armor at one point, but again, there's no 100% confirmation that I have. I haven't. Hang on, is that a piranha statue? Lovely. We've got ourselves a piranha statue now, then. That's a very good in investment. Even though, if only I come here pre-hard mode. There's so many hearts around here. It's unbelievable. Again, guys, if you are starting, look around in, near your jungle or in your jungle. You'll get so, so many heart crystals and stuff. It's just so common. I find it so common. I find it tons even now. Even so many years after or so, so many long after. There's just so many in there. It's bad. It's crazy. It really is crazy how many you get. Spectral elementals like to spawn around in open areas. I know that much. Well, it, that might not be an official fact, but I know myself that they do like to spawn around in open areas. So hopefully we can get a few to spawn on us. It'd be nice if we can, but if we can't, again, it, it's nothing important. We don't we don't really need the rod of discord. It would just be very, very helpful when we do pixel arts. So I don't have to keep flying and stuff, and I can like teleport in and out of places. And then I won't have to mine all the blocks because it's annoying trying to make a pixel art and then having to mine out of the blocks when you, like, build in on yourself. So in that aspect, it'll be very, very helpful there. Get a lot of luminant slimes. A lot of people always roast me for that. They're like, Illuminati slimes? What's an Illuminati slime? It's a luminant slime. But no, it's just an ongoing joke out, guys. Don't think I actually think it's called an Illuminati slime because I know it's not. It's just the thing that I've always called it. Not because it is. I, I know it might confuse people when I say it, and they might be like, Luke, you're just stupid. I am stupid. I'll take that. But no, um, the main reason I call it that is just for a joke, because from the start, I thought it was called Illuminati Slimes, then I realized it was called Illuminant Slimes when I looked at them properly. And yeah, from there, I've <laughs> I really did realize what I was saying. Right. Does it look like any Chaos Elementals was on a spawn? Just look at our map. We've got something. Ah, bat. They're just too common. We need like a more open area though. Because I do notice they spawn in more open areas a lot. Skeleton archers. Ah, let's head home anyway. A lot of black recluses. We've got like, so many areas where it's just black recluses, black recluses. And there's just so many spider webs around. So we're going to grab a frost moon spawner. No, actually, not present frost moon. Frost moon spawner. Well, reindeer bows. That's it. Reindeer bows. That's what I wanted. So let's try to get the reindeer bows. I think that that'll be a very good thing to get. Seeing as it's near Christmas, I'd love to fly around on a reindeer. There we go. Spawned it in, and the frost moon is rising. 